I do not know. No. Do not know. They I do not know. Everything okay? Yeah. You're going three miles under the speed limit. Is that illegal? Yes, it is, because you're driving under the speed Dive into U.S. Corrupt Cops, where we uncover four cases cops caught lying on body cam. It's time for action. Subscribe, like, and share to expose injustice. If you like this video, press 1. On July 19th, 2023, Kevin shared a story about being pulled over by Officer Ivan of the Gary Police Department while driving his blue F-150 with his grandfather in Gary, Indiana. He mentioned the Brady List, which lists officers with credibility issues, and emphasized its relevance when considering the officer's testimony. The recording begins after Officer Ivan approaches Kevin's vehicle. Give me a badge number, please. Uh, first you gotta give me your... Name and badge number, sir. Nope. nope. Your, your I will give you absolutely nothing until you give me your name and badge number, and you tell me the reason for the pullover. You're doing 55 and a 35. I was not doing 55. No, I was not. Okay, and your plates are expired. No, no I, I don't know about that. Okay. And uh, coronavirus. Okay. Can't do anything about the coronavirus. No, it's you can Oh, can't? I didn't know that. Okay, so go ahead and... I don't know where my wallet is. I can tell you my name and address, that's it. Okay. I'm not handing you anything. Kevin was pulled over in the USA for allegedly speeding and having expired license plate tags. When asked by the officer for his driver's license, registration, and insurance, Kevin couldn't find his physical license, but offered to provide his details for verification. However, the officer informed Kevin that he was being detained for failure to identify, citing a relevant state law that requires individuals to provide their name, address, and date of birth or their driver's license if available. Despite Kevin's attempts to comply, he was ordered out of the vehicle. Come out of the car, and I'm going to detain you. For what reason? Failure to identify. I'm not failing to identify. I'm actually going to tell you my name. No, I need your driver's No, I don't. I don't have to, you know what? For what? I am not failing. You're not putting me in handcuffs. Don't resist. Don't resist. I'm not resist. resisting. Don't resist. You're not putting me in handcuffs because I did not deny my information to you. Yes, you did. Do, did I, I not? Asked you I told you I do license. not. No, I told you I do not know where my driver's license said, is or is my registration. I don't. Did, did you? Let me repeat this. No. I do not know. No. Do not know. It I do not know. I do not know. Okay. Do not put your cuffs do on. Do not resist. I'm not resisting do not when resist. I didn't do anything. Do not resist. I'm not. I'm do telling not you. Do not resist. Do not resist. I'm telling you. I'm going to give you my information. Do not resist. You got it? I'm not doing anything. Do not resist. I'm not resisting when I haven't even tried to give you my information. You told me where's my driver's license. I don't know. It does matter. It does to. matter. I'm trying to give you my information. You didn't ask. Yes, I you did. said, let me, uh, all right. Yeah, I, and I repeat, he asked for my driver's license. I told him I don't know where my driver's license is. Fine. Here, let me do, let me, let me do something. I'll give you, I'll put you, I'll put me in cuffs so I can go home tonight. Let me put this in my pocket right here. All right. Central, go ahead and send me another unit. Put, put this right here so I can record. I'm not resisting. Grandpa, I'm not resisting. Yes, you are. How? I haven't even gave I you my information. Asked, I, it doesn't yeah, matter. I said I'm putting you in handcuffs. For what yeah, reason? For what reason? You're resisting. I'm not We're resisting. resisting. You told me I was resisting, resisting without giving you my information. I haven't even tried to give you my information yet. It's oh, resisting. Understand. I'll put the cuffs on me. Report. Kevin hands his phone to his grandfather to keep recording the incident and lets Officer Evans detain him, which proves crucial later on as more officers show up. Get in the car and lock it. Lock the truck. This is bullshit. Grandpa, be 
before they search you. Get in the car. Grandpa, get in the car. Lock the door. Hold up the window. I'm his grandfather, and this officer is in the wrong. I want state police over here. Kevin and his grandfather were in a situation where the police took his grandfather out of the car and restrained him, while Kevin was taken to a police car. According to Kevin, one officer hit him and used a taser on his stomach. There were no body cameras or dashboard cameras recording the incident, so the only footage available is from Kevin's phone. Kevin also says that over 300 personal videos were deleted from his phone, and he had to buy software to recover them. If this is true, it should lead to the officer responsible being fired and added to a list that prevents them from testifying in court. Additionally, the police report claims Kevin refused to provide his license and registration, which contradicts Kevin's version of events. Where my wallet is, I can tell you my name and address, that's it. It continues by stating that Kevin started arguing, telling the officer that he didn't have the right to identify him. I'm not failing to identify, I'm actually going to tell you my name. Continuing from Kevin's reference to the pandemic as an excuse for his expired tags, it emphasizes the notion that such an explanation is akin to shouting. Expired? No, I, I don't know about that. Okay. And uh, coronavirus. Okay. Can't do anything about the coronavirus. No, it's you, you. Oh, can't? I didn't know that. The scenario describes a situation where Kevin had an encounter with the police. There are differences between what the officer reported and what was seen on video. The officer accused Kevin of things like speeding and resisting arrest, but the video doesn't support those claims. There are also doubts about Kevin's identification and what his grandfather supposedly said to the officer. This shows why body cameras for police are important. Kevin's lawyer wants to fight the charges against him, which raises concerns about how truthful police reports are in incidents involving force. Kevin also plans to sue the officers involved, on July 10, 2022, the scenario describes a young driver who frequently records his road trips across the United States using a dash cam. He makes sure to pull over safely whenever he feels tired or needs to focus on something other than driving. It's worth noting that he hasn't been pulled over for any traffic violations, nor has he asked for help from anyone. However, a few incidents occur as a result of his choice to pull over safely and handle his business in legal parking areas before continuing his journey. Hey man. You okay? There's absolutely no reason for all the light. Oh no, it's just so I can see. I just need to know. Dear, okay. you see I turned I turned all the lights on in here, right? Yes. So so you don't need that flashlight. No, or no. that big old high beam either. Sir, that's not your concern. I just want to make sure you're okay while you're sitting here. It's my concern if it's in my face. Sir, I'm just doing my job. Thank you. Good night. Are you need a tow or anything? Is your car broke down? Or are you just sitting here? Would you go do your job, please? Oh yeah. Can you just answer the question. You no, no, no. I don't need to answer any questions, my dear. Please go. You can go. Thank you. Having a bad night? You're making it a bad night. Hey, listen. Are you really? 
You don't have anything better to do than to hassle somebody and shine your light in their face. Sir, I understand that you're having a problem with that, but yeah, I saw okay. you sitting here, so I just needed to make sure that My you lights were on. Are, are my flashers on? Let's see here. There's my flashers. No, is the hood up? No, the hood ain't up. Did I flag anybody down? It's just unusual to see someone sitting here, so that's the only reason why I stopped. I can see that you're okay, and I just wanted to verify that for me. I just needed a yes or no, sir. That was all I needed. I didn't need to have a hard time with you. It's just unusual to see somebody sitting here at night. You're repeating yourself. Yeah, I am. Will you go away now? Sir, can you just give me a yes or no? Yes or no what? Are you okay to drive? You want to watch me? You want to follow for a while? I just wanted to know why you were sitting here, sir. That was it. I ain't none of your business, that's why. How's that? Fine. Okay, great. You can go now. What's broken. going on? Are you broken down? Not at all. Not at all? Everything okay? Yeah, they were until you got here. Well, what's wrong now that I'm here? Gee, let me think for a minute. Here, now that you're out of the camera, let's get you in the camera here. Do you need my help or not? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Would you get the light out of the camera, please? No, I won't. No, you won't. Do you need any help or not? I, <laughs> I, I What I was doing was I was stopping to make sure you're okay. And it looks like you're starting to cop an attitude with me for no reason. I'm here to try to help you. If you don't need help, I'm out of here. Because obviously you don't want it. Something I can do for you? Yeah, sir. Just wondering if everything's okay. Everything's fine and dandy, sir. I thank you for checking on me. Okay. Well, so here's the deal, okay? We just actually had a call in the area of a girl that was getting chased. Okay, and a car came and picked her up and drove her off. Okay, no one else in here with you? Oh, no. Look, okay. here. Do you live up and around here, I take it? Well, you know, I strenuously object to uh, play in the 20 questions game, so I'm not going to do that with you. Okay. Do you have ID on you? Yeah, but so what? Okay. Would you mind if I got that? Sure, I would. Okay. What about giving me your name? My name is Jay. Jay? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jay. My name is Deputy Gertler. I'm with the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office. Uh-huh. What's, uh, what's your last name, Jay? Well, you know what? You're... I just told you I don't like asking the questions. Okay. Why don't you get your light out of my camera there? What light? What, what camera? That camera right there. Get your light out of the camera so it can see who you are. Is that better? I hope so. Okay. So, Jay, Jay what's your last name? Well, like I said, though, you know, my whole it's, reason for... It's, it's right here. Your whole reason for what? The my girl that got picked up? is because we had a call right yeah. around here of a young lady being chased doesn't that concern you a little bit do you see a young lady i don't but i also like to know people in the area yeah of where something might have been happening wouldn't you like that if that was your daughter or wife someone was chasing you and there was a car sitting on the side of the road very close to where that was happening darked out facing the train tracks wow that sure is suspicious isn't it it is wow it is is your life really that empty all right jay well, I tell you what, I'll just run your plate. I'll figure out who you are that way. All right, and you have yourself a fantastic night. It's crucial to keep in mind that the police aren't your allies. 
While these situations might involve officers trying to offer help, it would be naive to believe they weren't also seeking opportunities to incriminate you in any possible manner. Remember, you're not obligated to answer any questions and always record your interactions with government officials. In August 2023, a driver was traveling along North Avenue East when a Westfield Police Department officer pulled up behind them and conducted a traffic stop. What's up, boss? How you doing? I don't answer questions. Can I get your license registration insurance, please? What have I been pulled over for? Um, speeding, sir. Uh, what speed was I going? You're going 48. 48? 48, man. Damn, that's some horse Yeah. Yeah, I record everything. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I have uh, had this radar running. The radar? Where, where'd I go 48? You mind telling me? 48, sir. I was right behind you. Nate's decision not to respond to any questions is smart since none of the questions are intended to assist him in any manner. The officer's tone shifts noticeably upon discovering he's being recorded. Some horse Yeah. Yeah, I record everything. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I have uh, had this radar running. The vo in this scenario, a rookie police officer accuses Nate of speeding at 48 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. However, the officer's dash cam footage shows that Nate's speed did not exceed 39 miles per hour. Nate also has a dash cam that records his speeds via GPS, proving he never went over the speed limit. The footage from the rear camera supports Nate's claim and shows no other vehicles behind him until Officer Taha suddenly appears and quickly catches up with Nate. This suggests that Officer Taha made an unjustified and illegal traffic stop, possibly aggravated by Nate's earlier obscene gesture towards him, despite Nate obeying the speed limit. Hey, yeah, I was going 30, huh? 48, sir. Can I get your license registration insurance, please? I'll put it right here on the, on the window for you. What happened? I'll put it right here on the window for you. Sir, I, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? I'll put it right here on the window for you. Okay. Um... All right, we could do this. Nate has positioned his documents by the window, showing them to the officer as mandated by the law. Are you uh, gonna open this, boss? What do you mean? Can you, can you give it to me? Uh, I can, I'm only required to present it to you and I have presented it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so is you're just gonna do this or are you gonna just give it to me? I, the law says I just have to present it to you. I have okay, pre yeah, but I can, you, can you open? Can you open? Uh, I can. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna play games. Uh, for my safety, yes. Your safety? For my safety. So you don't want to hand me your your license? I have presented it to you legally. That's all I'm required to do. Okay. All right. Okay. It's right there for you. All right. What's going on, boss? I don't answer questions. He doesn't answer questions. Why? Why are you seem so upset, boss? I don't answer questions. <laughs> All right. A new police officer is taking down Nate's information. However, Nate smartly decides not to answer the officer's questions. The officer's inquiries, while appearing harmless, are actually meant to provoke Nate. Nate's silence frustrates the officer, who then goes back to his patrol car to figure out how to write a poorly crafted ticket. Let's get him for speed. Yeah, 48. What? What was his name? Uh, Nathan. Officer Picciano recognizes Nate, but the only record of citation he has is with the agency in the adjacent city. An obstruction of lynch. He probably remembers the initial occasion Nate showed up on this channel, when a Cranford officer pulled Nate over for exercising his First Amendment rights and got cited for obstructing a window. You drove by and you, it looked like you needed assistance. The officer got busted for lying in court. He like sticking his middle finger up at me for like an extended period of time, as if he was like baiting me to like stop him. I don't know if it's Calvary thing, but it was a video of me on YouTube. The judge threw out the citation, yet it still inexplicably shows up in the officer's database. The videos demonstrating this will be provided below. However, at present, Officer Taha is grappling with how to proceed with issuing the citation while Officer Picciano requests additional information from Nate. What's going on tonight, boss? I don't know. What was your name? 
What? What was your name? You got my ID, didn't you? No, I don't think you told me. What was his name? Uh, Nathan. I think we've done with this guy. Well, he didn't take it. You wrote down all my information, right? Trying to read his handwriting. <laughs> Nathan? That would be correct. Nathan, all right. What's your phone number, boss? I gave out all the information I need to give. I'm not giving out my phone number. All right. Any reason why you're so upset, man? I'm not upset. All right. Perhaps when you pull someone over, you probably should do it for a, a good reason, not really something that you're lying about. You think he was lying? Oh, I record everything. Okay. The speed was recorded. I'll gladly fight this in court. All right, boss. Well, sorry. It'd be interesting to see if he shows but up. He doesn't have to give his phone number or email address. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have to, so do with that information if you want. All right. Yeah. Mm. All right, boss. Shortly after the officers returned to their cruiser. I was lying? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Is the radar going to lie too? When Nate reached out to me, I recommended that he should request the radar machine's logs and calibration certificates. A document submitted by rookie officer Taha regarding a traffic stop showed that the radar equipment wasn't even used. This suggests that Officer Taha, who only recently got radar certification, lied in retaliation against a citizen exercising their civil rights. Luckily for the city of Westfield, Officer Taha is probably still on probation given how fresh his certifications are. However, the situation is far from over and appears to be getting worse. You know this guy? I think. What's uh, his issue? Like, I don't, I don't understand why he's being so rude. I don't know, maybe I, uh, he looks familiar, but... That diner area. What's, what's that? Elmer? No, um... St. Paul. Um, St. Paul. The diner's closer to Elmer. Elmer? Yeah. Officer Taha is having trouble with a ticket he issued, saying he caught Nate speeding at a certain intersection. But reviewing the dash cam footage, shows Nate was driving below the speed limit at that spot, where he also got mad at Officer Taha. Meanwhile, Officer Taha is having computer and printer problems, so other cops are asking another officer to help with the ticket. Here's an invalid data in field. People make code. I mean, if, if he doesn't want to give his most updated address, that could be another ticket. That is a summons, yes, but you don't know if he's actually staying there. 20 minutes later, Nate is handed his citation. Sir, I'm going to be issuing you a summons for a careless. Um, all the information is on the ticket. It's $88. You can just pay it online. You get, um, careless. You're driving in a careless manner. I observed you driving 40 into 35, sir, and I perceive that as careless, okay? This is your ticket, sir. You can, um, this is, this is what I'm giving you, okay? Give me a little bit of break on the speed, and I don't know what's the issue. You know, you seem to be very agitated, but, um, this is, this, um, do you have any more questions for me, sir? All right, so you have a good night, okay? Have a good one. Officer Taha is being accused of unfairly ticketing Nate. Even though Nate wasn't driving carelessly, the officer still gave him a ticket for it, along with exaggerating Nate's speed on the ticket. The recorded speed on the ticket is higher than what the dash cam footage shows. This ticket could result in Nate getting two points on his driving record when just a slightly higher speed would mean four points. Careless driving charges are subjective and easier to argue against in court, making it seem like Officer Taha is being deceptive. Break on the speed and I don't know what's the issue. Taking a slight dip in speed, I'm not sure what the problem is, but maybe the brake Officer Taha mentioned was putting a mark on Nate's permanent record for recklessly driving a commercial vehicle with hazardous materials in his 2006 Honda. It seemed like payback for flipping off the officer. Regardless, Nathan usually contests these tickets, just like he did the last one. However, whether he wins or loses in court, it'll still appear if an officer runs his name. In August 2022, Sean sent in a video of himself driving at 53 miles per hour on Seminole Pratt Whitney Road in Loxahatchee County where the speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Despite driving under the speed limit, an unidentified deputy from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office allegedly tailgated Sean until he pulled him over, seemingly frustrated with his speed. 
giving you the opportunity to pass me. You want to tailgate me in a police vehicle? Going, Go ahead. You're going three miles under the speed limit. You can drive. At Fifty-five least the is the you speed were going limit. Fifty-three. My camera is that illegal? You were going fifty-three. Is that illegal? Yes, it is because you're driving under the speed limit. You're not doing the speed limit. Speed. Do me a favor, just do the speed limit, okay? Speed Thank you. limit. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? You're refusing to identify after pulling me over. What is your name and badge number? After the deputy with bad math skills scurries off, Sean catches up to him to jot down his license plate number for filing a complaint. It's worth mentioning that in 2013, House Bill 7125 made it illegal to drive 10 miles per hour slower than the posted speed limit in the far left lane in Florida. However, it seems that in 2014, this provision was removed from the relevant statute. Nevertheless, even if the 10 mile per hour rule still applied, it's only in 1984 that 10 equals 2. VJX08 PBSO Sheriff Going to be filing a complaint. I hope you know what you just did. You're violating citizens' rights. I'm filing a complaint. Piece of sh. Scumbag. Sean opted against filing a complaint initially. However, when the deputy he had supposedly triggered retaliated by calling Sean's workplace and informing his boss that Sean was rude, coincidentally while Sean was in a company vehicle, he changed his mind. Sean then attempted to file an anonymous complaint with the department but was abruptly hung up on. Consequently, he downloaded an app to record calls and explicitly stated that he was recording during subsequent interactions. Honestly, what I feel would be the best is if your sergeant could get him, contact me, come out and meet me and apologize on camera. And then I could add that to my YouTube and say this officer apologized, he manned up, and he showed that this department actually has respect for the citizens. We're going to go ahead and have the sergeant call you, okay? Can I need to resolve it or help you resolve it? Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes, but... The audio is tough to listen to, but you can catch the full version on Sean's channel. Sean still hasn't heard back from the supervisor. Thank you for watching our video on four cases of cops caught lying on body cam. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest content about truth and justice. Please like, share, and comment to spread the message and help us raise awareness on this issue. Let's create a supportive community together and encourage transparency and honesty. Thank you for joining us on this journey.